Hi everyone, how are you all? I hope you all are doing great. My name is Narendar and welcome back to BTNX. Today we are diving into a crucial aspect of data analysis, the powerful VLOOKUP function. It's a game changer when it comes to automating your data workflows in Microsoft Excel. Before we move forward, I would like to tell you that BTNX has an exclusive workshop on Microsoft Office using AI tools. The link is in the description box below. We'll talk more about it later in the video. Working professionals, are you using Excel, Power BI, PowerPoint or Word in your day-to-day -day life? What if I tell you that you're wasting 95% of your time while you're doing so? How so you will be asking me? Because you're not using chat GPT and AI tools while doing all of these work. Now let's jump into the world of automating data analysis with VLOOKUP. If you have ever found yourself spending hours manually matching data, VLOOKUP is here to rescue. It's a function that can save you time, reduce errors and make your data analysis more efficient. Firstly, let's understand the basics of VLOOKUP and how it works. VLOOKUP stands for Vertical Lookup and it allows you to search for a value in a column of data and return a corresponding value from the same row. This is particularly useful when you are dealing with large data sets and need to cross reference information. Now let's walk into a practical example to showcase the power of VLOOKUP in action. I have a data here. You can see in first column. I have names of bakery items and the key along with the description. So here I'm going to give the key then I should get the description. We'll do this thing. Before that I would like to show you the VLOOKUP syntax. For that I'm going to use chart GPT. Here I'm just going to type VLOOKUP syntax. Here you can see the VLOOKUP syntax. First one is lookup value. This is the value you want to search for in the first column of the table then table array this is the range of cells that contains the data the first column of this range is where the lookup function searches for the lookup value then column index number this is the column number in the table from which to retrieve the value the first column in the table is 1 and the second is 2 and so on. Then range lookup. This is an optional argument. If set to true, we lookup will search for an approximate match. If set to false, we lookup will only find an exact match. It's recommended to use false for exact match to avoid unexpected results. So now let's dive into our first example. Here I want to find the description. First of all, I'm going to use if error function underneath I'm going to use VLOOKUP. So why I'm using if error? So if we get any error while finding the description we should not get error instead we should get some other value like not found or dash or something like that here in VLOOKUP first we have to select the lookup value then table array here we just need key and description columns then here column index number is 2 
description is in two right then here we can select false because we want exact match right then here what we have to do is we have to close this we look up then give a comma here i'm just giving dash so that if this value is not present in this thing and we are unable to get the description then we should get dash so you can see for lat keyword we got this description so if i change this keyword to cr1 you can see we got this description if i change this thing to this one i got this description so this is the first example where we used we look up along with if error function to get the description now let's move on to the next example before that i would like to tell you something which is very important ai is taking over the world in such a short span of time we have seen so many layoffs millions of jobs replaced by ai and what not you don't want to get affected by this recession wave right well ai won't replace you but the person using ai will if you want to save your job and become irreplaceable in your career join our 2 hour microsoft office using ai tools workshop in this workshop we will teach you about the best ai tools to upskill increase your productivity and enhance your career make your future secure with us join our workshop by clicking the link in the description box now back to our we look up examples here you can see in this example i'm going to show you how you can join data so here you can see here i'm having just name then key so in another sheet i'm having key and description so i want a description to be present here after key so i should get description from another sheet basically i want to join this data here like description data here so let's do this thing here what we have to do is here also i'm just going to use the if error function so underneath we look up then after select the lookup value after that table array here i need to select table array from this sheet then column index number 2 here false then i'm just going to give a dash here and i'm going to close this thing you can see i got the description of this key i just need to drag this thing till the end you can see we got the description for all these keys now we are going to see the last example in this video so here you can see a uh, chicken quantity and discount so if you take uh, 10 kg you will get 5% discount if you take 15 kg you will get a uh, 10% discount if you take 20 kg you will get 15% discount so for example if i enter 16 what should i get like it's nearer to 15 right i should get 10 kg or uh, like if i bring 16 kg 
of chicken how much discount should i get it's nearer to 15 kg rate i should get 10% discount so let's see how we can do this thing here i'm just going to use the same one if error function underneath the vlookup So here lookup value will be this one then table array here column index number is 2 here we have to choose approximate match that means true okay I'm close I'm going to close this thing then this one done so if i bring uh, 16 kgs of chicken i should get a 10 percent discount if i bring 22 kgs of chicken i'll get 15 percent discount so if i bring 12 5 5 percent discount if i bring 14 also 5 percent discount if I bring 17 kgs, 10% discount. So this is how we use VLOOKUP to automate uh, some of the data analysis tasks. That's it for today's video. I hope you found this tutorial on automating data analysis workflows with VLOOKUP helpful. If you did, please do like, comment, share this video with your peers. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informative content. Also, check out the link in the description for our exclusive Microsoft Office using AI Tools Workshop. It's a fantastic opportunity to future-proof your career and stay ahead in the fast-paced world of technology. We'll see you there. Thank you.